Lab 2, Pressure versus Volume. This lab will follow many of the same steps. The difference, though, is that on the Events with Entry screen, we're going to type the word volume, and we're going to use milliliters as our unit. We're also not going to remove the syringe between measurements, but keep the syringe uh, connected. As we did before, Pull up 10 milliliters of air into your syringe and connect it to the gas pressure sensor. The big difference in this lab though is you will not pull the plunger back to 20 milliliters like you did before. Instead, keep it where it's at and you can go ahead and make a measurement at this point. You should be reading approximately atmospheric pressure. Remember to hit the play button and then the keep button if you want to store this data. Now take your plunger and start pushing gently toward the gas pressure sensor in increments of two milliliters. So as we reprise at eight milliliters, one of you will hold it at eight milliliters while your partner will hit the keep button and measure and record the pressure at that point. You should notice a change in pressure as you do this. Once that data has been stored into the LabQuest 2, have your partner move the plunger again another two milliliters forward to the six milliliter mark. Continue in this manner until you have reached at least four milliliters. In some cases you might even be able to go all the way to two milliliters. After you've collected that data, reverse the process and take your plunger back toward 10 milliliters again and then start recording data at 12, 14, 16, and finally 18 milliliters. After your data has been collected, you can review it as either a graph or a data table. For this experiment, I would like you to click the graph icon. When you do, you should see a graph of pressure versus volume. With your stylus, select the File tab, and from the drop-down menu, select Curve Fit. You'll now be at a new screen. On the left will be your graph of pressure versus volume, and on the right you'll have the option to choose which equation that you need to fit the data. Select Choose Fit, and from the drop-down, select Natural Exponent. If you have collected your data correctly, you should see an inverse relationship between pressure and volume. Why, in this experiment, does this make sense instead of being directly proportional as it was in the first experiment. Now we're ready to begin lab three.